Hey what's up guys this is the interesting javascript library of the week series i am nitej and in this sixth episode i will show you a js library which can be used to create tooltips and dialog balloons with highly robust and dynamic placements that library is popper js we can use popper js in our projects but first we will have to install it and that can be done in two different ways we can either install it using npm by executing the command npm and then install and then popper js core or we can download and fetch its script reference for use in our web pages by using its cdn urls which are these ones for development and production versions at first look popper js looks like just another library to create tooltip balloons but its main utility comes in the form of placing and positioning the tooltips and other such elements for example there are many different placement styles which we can use over here we have a button and we have a div element which is acting like a tooltip popper js is being used over here to convert this div into a tooltip dialog so when we have set the placement as top then the tooltip dialog will be in the top position and it will be in the center the tooltip dialog can be placed in four different directions which are top bottom left and right and in each direction we can place it in three different places either in the beginning in the middle or in the end so if we want to place this dialog in the beginning of the top direction then all we need to do is to add a start after top and then the tooltip dialog will be placed in the beginning to place it towards the end we can replace this start with end and then this dialog will be placed in the end the good thing about popper js is that it will automatically reposition the tooltip dialog depending on the available space between the window bounds and the control for which we are showing the tooltip dialog so when i am scrolling the web page and the button is being moved towards the top and bottom and when there is no more space left for this tooltip dialog to be placed at the top position then popper will automatically move it towards the bottom similar behavior will occur when we will place the tooltip dialog towards either the left or the right so right now this tooltip dialog is towards the right of this button and when i will again scroll the web page and when the button control will start to go outside of the visible bounds of this window then the tooltip dialog will stay as long as it can until the button is visible if the button is not visible then the tooltip dialog will itself start to move outside of the bounds of the visible viewport so that it can stay visible as long as it can another good thing about using popper js is its download size with just around 3 kb in size it will not be too much of a burden on a user's internet bandwidth especially for mobile devices you might be thinking that this is just a normal tooltip library but let me tell you that properly placed and movable tooltip and dialog panels are very useful in conveying the required information to the user without worrying about control locations or window scrolling i also want to point out that if you want to make proper tooltip balloons then popper js itself will not be able to do that you will have to create those balloons and their little triangle and implement their spacing and animations etc on your own this is too much work and there is a better alternative available and that is tp.js so i will not dive deep into tp.js in this video because that would take too much time so i suggest you to go and take a look at this library if you just want to create amazing tooltips because tp.js itself uses popper.js so you will get all of the mentioned features in tp.js too for example there are different kinds of tooltip arrows available there are different kinds of animations there are also different kinds of themes available for example we can apply gradient colors as background on the tooltips all of these things are not available with popper js so if you are in need of such features for your tooltips then you would be wise to simply use tp.js because it is already being powered by popper js and that would be everything this episode has to offer about popper js thank you so much for watching this video i am nitej and i hope that you will like it if you do then please be sure to place a thumbs up on the video and also subscribe to the code first channel for more such videos till then take care of yourselves and have a great time